all right so let's get started um, this is your love for September okay and this is like I see a lot of you are you're 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 doing the best to move forward but you're still like some of you are in awe some of you are used to doing things one way and wanting to do things another way so I kind of see where this is all about you resting understanding and then moving in a different direction right so with that being said your first position is the five of swords so the five of swords is um this is your position in love in the month of september so you know you felt like some things were not being told to you you feel like you have your sword up and the five of swords is about like um something being brought to light to you but you um or you kind of have an idea about this um but it's about like taking a stand for for you and really seeing that you know maybe i'm changing my life right now and i'm realizing that there are people around me that really shouldn't be around me because they're it's not that it's just that we are on two different levels it's not like you know they're a bad person it's just their path doesn't agree with my path right and so this could be in your romantic area this could be in your uh, friendship area because friends is all about the 11th house and so you'll be dealing with that too um, but I feel like this is your position where you're sort of like kind of clearing your field kind of like looking around and saying you know this person really doesn't need I don't really need to be friends with this person or this person and and myself are just in, on two different wavelengths but also because you're so tired I feel like a lot of you have been working a lot and not just at your jobs or your careers but on yourselves too and so you're kind of tired and so um you know sometimes it takes us we need to just step back for a minute and maybe rest because that's what i'm hearing a lot for you guys so in this position there what's crossing you is the eight of wands so the eight of wands and that's their advice in this position is that to you're going to be moving forward but i do feel like a lot of you need to like take a trip or need to like take some time away because i'm seeing this here 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 is like rest you need to take the time away to be able to come back to center so that you can make the choices that you want to make but you're so tired that you're running on adrenaline or you're running on and you can't think straight right that's what i'm feeling like you can't feel straight and you can't think straight so they're saying um also some of you the thing that's going to come to light for some of you guys is that this this movement is going to be going forward so let me explain that because i'm seeing that in lots of different ways some of you are if you were if you were planning on moving to a new place that's coming through if you were planning on moving in with somebody that's coming through if you were planning on um you know moving forward in your job and that that's coming through um, so this is all fast movement. It's, it takes action to do it. Um, just like a trip, because I see the trip too. Um, that means, you know, I have to actually go on the trip to have the trip, right? So this is action. This is their advice in this situation. When things come to light, move fast. Like, just do it. Because you've already said, it's really interesting because you, it's like you already told them what you wanted and you can't make a mistake right now because your life is changing like this is what the world card is about up here and that's from from your higher self now what you came through was the six of wands so you you were being noticed you had accolades you got uh some of you got the position some of you got the person some of you like whatever this was you were being looked at and uh looked upon nicely you know they were for the work that you have done for the things that you have done so I feel like if you met somebody because some of you met somebody some of you um some of you have that like a longtime partner who actually started seeing you for your worth seeing you like they saw you in the beginning not taking advantage of you so i do see that and so sometimes scorpios you're so used to some of you being so like off to yourself and secretive about things 
that you kind of feel like, uh, okay, when is the other shoe going to drop? What is this person really doing, right? And, you know, you can make the choice to live that way, but do you really want to live that way? Or would you just rather people tell you the truth and people not hide things from you? But remember, people mirror us. So if you're always being secretive and you're not giving anything, well, then they aren't either, right? So this is a big lesson for you guys. So in your uh, fourth position from the first two weeks uh, in September, you have the Three of Cups. And that brings me to why I was saying this. So the Three of Cups is about, um, <laughs> it's very interesting. So the Three of Cups is, it, it could be about celebration, but it could be about, uh, com uh, not community. Um, it can be about, and the 11th house is community. It's, you know, it's ruled by Aqua. So the, um, it can, so the Three of Cups is about letting people in so that you can celebrate with them. Letting people in so that they can help you. Letting people in, letting your friends and your family, people that you trust, letting them in, letting them know what's going on so that you can get to a better place. That's what the Three of Cups is about. You have three cups and they have to do it together, right? And so sometimes you're so strong and used to doing things on your own or used to being secretive about it because you're just naturally that way. That's just, the, that's not all Scorpios because it depends on how much you have in your chart. But Scorpio sign itself has that secretive thing to it, like the mysterious thing to it, right? Characteristic to it. So sometimes um, you get, and you're so used to like keeping everything to yourself because, you know, for whatever reason you make up these, you know, you say these reasons, you don't make them up, but you say these reasons about, well, you know, they wouldn't understand or why would they want to know or, you know, any of that. And they do. There are people around. So as much as some of you think there are people around you that shouldn't be around you, there are people around you that really want to help you. that really love you. This is like, this is a big, big important thing like on this channel. I know people come on this channel or on my other channel and I've been asked, you know, how can you, uh, you know, it, some people come look at me and think, what does she want from me? I don't want anything from you. I love you because I love you. I send love to you because I do, because it's who I am, because I want to help humanity, because I want to help people. Um, because it is part of my character, right? That's a hard pill is as easy as that sounds or as simple as that sounds. That's a hard pill to swallow because people are always thinking, what does she want from me? Or what does he want from me? I don't want anything from you. I really don't. I do it because I want to, not because I have to trust me. That is not my personality to do something. I don't have to do. <laughs> you can ask any of my family or my friends. I will only do what I want to do. <laughs> And I do genuinely have love for you. So there are, and I say that to say, there are people around you who really love you and want to help and want to know what's going on. And this is a growth period for you to be able to um, open yourself up. Because remember what I said about mirroring, they're saying this again. Um, you know, if you're the one always hiding or keeping things, you know, you're, you have a great, personality like I love being around Scorpio they're so fun love 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 Scorpio women okay love them to death so you have this great personality and people want to be around you but you don't really let people in right you don't let them in often and so maybe it's time to let a few people in maybe it's time to like let them know what's going on because this is part of your growth part of it because we grow our souls right so part of your growth is to be uh, more than the character that you are, right? So being that naturally a Scorpio is of that, you know, hidden or secretive, maybe we grow from that. Maybe we grow from that, right? So this is what you'll be working on in the next two weeks. Now, you have to trust yourself. You have to be centered. You have to know yourself. And right now you're a little tired and you need some rest. But when you do, maybe you let some people in and I'll tell you why because from your fifth position I always ask your higher self what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love and this is the world card now the world card what they're saying in this is your life is changing right so if you've been really emotional and really down in the dumps you know you're gonna get a spark 
you're going to be in that fiery energy. If you are all about the fiery energy, you're going to be a little air. You may be a little grounded or some more stability may come into your life. It just kind of depends. Or if you've been too fiery and too grounded, maybe you get some more emotion. Maybe you connect with yourself. Either way, your life is changing. Your phase is changing. And this is, I don't see positive and negative anyway. I don't see good and bad. But the, when they bring me this card in this position, your higher self is saying, you know what? You can do whatever you want. You have, you are so aligned with us. You are so aligned with your higher self. You're so aligned with your purpose. It may not feel that way, but you are aligned. So aligned that it doesn't matter which way you go. You can't mess it up. And I don't say that very often to people, but I'm saying that to you because that's what they said to me. They said, you can't mess it up. It doesn't matter. You're going to learn something and get something from this. You are so aligned right now that you can't mess it up. Okay. So don't get too in your head. Don't get too emotional. It's time to open up. You need some rest though. That's a big thing for you guys right now. Now in your sixth position, um, at the end of the, so the last two weeks in September, you have the eight of cups and the eight of cups is about, you know, when you've gotten your heart broken, you've been devastated in some way, you know, you lost your job, you lost your house, you know, just very devastating things for you, right? Anyone, um, you know how, cause you're a Scorpio, you're going to pick up and keep going. You're not going to let anybody know that, you know, your world is freaking falling apart and you're just going to keep it going. You're going to keep it moving because you're strong that way. Right. And so that's what this eight of cups is about. It, it's letting you, it's reminding you that even though you have picked up and you have moved forward and you're doing the, your thing and you're, you still have these areas. And although it's a good thing and it's like, we have to do this because we have to keep living and we have to keep going. What happens is we don't go back and look at those hurts and look at that trauma. And so forever we're suppressing it and it becomes part of our field. And when it becomes part of our field, when I talk about clearing your field, when it becomes part of your field, that's energy that's just you're holding. And if you let it go, then you can have all these other gifts come in. Because if you remember what I said in our higher selves, we can hold lots of energy that can run through us. But in this, in our, in our physical self, in this density, there's only so much energy that can run through us. And so if you're holding on to, then you may not even know it because it's suppressed because you're such a warrior. You're like, I'm going to get up and keep going. Right. But if you don't, if you continue to hold on to that, it's just energy that's running through you unnecessarily where you could just let it go, let it flow and let some blessings come in. And that's what they're saying. So the next two weeks is about you really going back to that space where you can look at it with a different eye and say, why did that happen? Why did I call that in? What did I learn from that? And when you have an understanding, all of a sudden it just releases. They're not saying, all right, let it go. They're saying, understand, because that's part of your learning. That's part of growing your soul is that growth. So if somebody has hurt you, if you had traumatic events, you know, we've had people, listen, like attracts like. So I know my spouse passed away. I have two that passed away. So my spouse, my fiance. So I have two that passed away. And I know that there are a lot of people in this group who have had the same. So maybe you go back and you look at that. Maybe you go back and, and you say, all right, why was that happening at that time? And what have I learned since then? And when you do that, you let it go and you let it flow. And then those blessings can come in. Okay. And that's what they're asking you to do in like the second half of the, <clears throat> of the, um, of the month. And what happens is all of a sudden these things start coming in because when this card shows up for me, I see manifestations coming in. I see like, oh my gosh, I'm really not here anymore. I'm here. Like I'm really not in all of this turmoil and this stuff. Like all of a sudden you start seeing and feeling, you feel better. And then you start seeing manifestations of not being in that space anymore. And that's what happens with this card. So that's what you'll be dealing with. <clears throat> Man, they're being deep with you guys. <clears throat> my throat. 
Okay, so um, in your seventh position, um, I love it because I can go deep with you guys. Um, so in your seventh, apparently spirit knows you can go deep with, I can, we can go deep with you. So um, in your seventh position, this is um, your fear. And so you have the eight of swords and the eight of swords is about, <laughs> so I see this a couple of ways. Like some of you fear that you'll just never get out of this. Like, is this all life is about? Like I, everything I do, I hit a wall or everything I do, it messes up right like that's what i'm feeling and that's weird because i never feel that with this card but i'm feeling that with you guys like i try so hard and i keep it moving and i am brave and i'm courageous and i don't ask for much and you know but i just keep hitting a freaking wall and that's what your fear is like is this what it's about like is this what we can like how am i going to be able how can it be easier right and it can and they're they're showing me the gemini sign it's about communication for you for you okay it may be something different for another sign but here i'm hearing this can be about the communication the growth in maybe learning to lean on someone maybe understanding that people there are good people out there you guys like good and bad stuff right you like to say the good and the bad maybe there are good people out there maybe the world isn't what the media says it is maybe the world isn't what the news says it is maybe it really is where there are, I'm not saying everybody, I'm just saying maybe there are good people out there. Maybe there are people that really don't want much from you, but they like being around you and they really want to get to know you, right? So this is a fear, a, a fear for some of you is that I keep hitting the wall. Will I ever break through? Will it ever be safe and stable? It's just a fear. For others of you, it's like, I get so overwhelmed and I don't want to be in that space anymore because I'm clearing my field and I'm feeling better and things are coming about, things are coming and I'm feeling better and I don't want to be back in this. That's just a fear. Remember, a fear is there to remind you of what you want and what you don't want. Focus on what you want. Focus, stay on this line. Stay on what I call the line. Stay on this line. Stay in the good. Stay in that, that lighter feeling. Uh, but part of your growth is to let some people in. That's part of your growth. Okay, so look at what you don't want. You already know what you don't want. You, you've already said this, right? So look at it, but then come over here and say, this is what I do want and stay in that. Okay, man, they're being deep. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a longer video. Um, in your eighth position, this is the way a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you. You have the page of wands. So somebody's bringing you news that's really exciting. Some of you, that's a person. Some of you, that's a date. Some of you, um, that's a potential long-term love. And some of you is, they're the loved one that is with you already, but it's very exciting news, whatever this is. And it will cause you to take action. So you have to take the action to be able to receive the news, right? Um, it's not like an offering, but it may be like news. It could be a date, right? Um, could be your longtime spouse or your longtime relationship is like, Hey, let's, let's go here. I booked a trip or let's go here. I booked a one day, whatever, you know, uh, whatever this is, is exciting. Uh, you'll be happy. And I feel like they're doing it. So this is really important because they keep saying this. I feel like the people that are doing the things for you, you have that clarity to know when people are being mischievous or not. Right. And so, but sometimes you get in the habit of thinking, well, she's mischievous and he's mischievous. So, so then you start thinking everybody is, right? It's just a habit. So if you really center and think about it, there are people in your life right now, this is the important message. There are people in your life right now that really want to help you. Not because they want something back, but because they love you and they want to help you. So, but they can't if you don't let them in, right? So that's a really important message for you guys. Uh, but you're so tired, you're so overworked, things have been going fast for you, that, you know, some of you had a lot of turmoil, um, and then you're just sort of like standing there saying, all right, I'm just keeping it moving until, I don't know, until I get a break, right? But it's kind of time to take a break. That's what they're saying. So this is happening in the month of September. In your ninth position, this is your hopes and dreams, but I call it the outer realm, bringing it in. Um, and this is the strength card. So this is about 
for some of you, I hear <laughs> spirits like, tell them some of it's about Leo. So some of you may be having a Leo come in, you know, if it's romance or even a partner, like a business partner could be coming in, uh, wherever your love has been, um, this person's going to come help you. But for others, I feel like this is you and this is your ego. And I feel like when you come to terms and understand and balance that ego, you can get so much more done. You can. You can move through life easier. Um, and I feel like this is more about what's coming in for you is the growth and understanding of how to balance that ego within yourself. Okay. But for others, it is a person coming in that you're drawing to you. So if you're single and you're open and you're available, it's in your outer realm. So just continue to grow because that person can actually come in when you grow. Okay. But not until you grow. Hope that makes sense. So in your 10th position, the overall outcome of what you'll be working through uh, in the month of September, you have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, look at that. He's about resting. He's about taking, taking his experiences, being sheltered by them, but taking some time out. Like this is... Like this to me is the issue that he really needs to like get some clarity on, but he understands that he's been attacking it the wrong way. So he's got to like relax it, rest, and then come back to it. So it's a situation or it's a person that, or it's a long a thing from way in the past for some of you, um, that it needs to be brought up, but not at this time. At this time, it's about resting. So at this time, it's about balancing and loving yourself. You're so used to some of you, some of you are so used to doing for so many others and then not expecting them to do anything back because you're like, well, you know, people don't really like, they don't really step up. Right. And so you just learn, well, I don't expect anything from anybody or I'm not expecting them to do it because people fail me. Right. But if you're in that and you've been in that for so long, then it's going to continue to keep coming around where if you just relax and love yourself for a minute, like don't think about the others, the others will take care of themselves. Just relax and love yourself. Take some time out to get centered. Take some time out to have your dreams. 